uh, we obviously want to know how does this impact on your approach to the game? I mean, obviously you got uh, a different fly off. I don't know when last uh, Damien has played fly off, and and obviously the the, the tactics around your your cha the changes. Yeah, no, like you said, uh, Jan, uh, the, the big thing is, uh, especially in the fly-off position, uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, we lost two fly-offs in, in one game. And uh, But like in all things in life, I think it's unfortunate for the two guys who got injured, uh, but it's fortunate for, for Damien, you know, and uh, Damien has played for us uh, at fly-off um, uh, this year, the, the, the first Welsh um, test match. Uh, in Pretoria, he played the second half at 10. Uh, so it's yeah, uh, quite looking forward to to see him there again and getting that combination between him and Vili. Lloyd? Thanks, how's it, uh, Jacques? Um, quite simply, how is everyone? Um, it's how are you and how is everyone? I mean, it's been a tough uh, couple of weeks. I can't, uh, you know, really recall the temperature being this high. Um, maybe in your whole tenure, you and Rassi together um, with, with the kind of emotion from back home um, and the heat. How is everyone? Is the team still very much together? Are there, are there any kind of cracks that you're starting to see? How's everyone handling it? Oh, yes, no, listen, Lloyd, it's, uh, no, it's, it's good. You know, uh, um, uh, obviously, we disappointed with the, with the two losses we had um, uh, the last two weeks. But I mean, uh, the only thing we can focus on is, is trying and getting a result in the next week, uh, the, the next test match, which is on uh, uh, Saturday. So, yeah, no, we're working as hard as possible, um, uh, putting in the effort and uh, looking uh, to see if we can't uh, change it around on the weekend. Ashfaq? Hi, uh, Jacques and Jaden. Um, Jacques, just firstly, how, how bad are some of those injuries or guys? Uh, any long-term injuries there? And then secondly, just in terms of the tech, uh, there were some really pleasing passages last week and, and you spoke after us about just uh, finishing, maybe the last pass not going to end. What do you think they need to do differently this time around when you get into that red zone? Uh, yeah, Aspak, no. Uh, in terms of the injuries, uh, we will probably add more clarity uh, on on the severity of the injuries by tomorrow. Uh, um, obviously, they're not going to be they're not up for selection this weekend. Uh, but hopefully, uh, we will add more clarity from the medical team in terms of the duration uh, of the injury and how long they will be out uh, by tomorrow. Um, in terms of yes, um, I think uh, the main thing for us uh, in in the way we play is to try and create pressure. Uh, and then that pressure um, will will translate over to opportunities, and then you must uh, convert those opportunities into points. And uh, yeah, the bad thing was, or the the big work on for us, I think, uh, in this week is uh, converting those opportunities. And you know, those some of those opportunities that, that we didn't take, uh, um, sometimes uh, it was uh, a lack of. Uh, support, uh, it was maybe a technical issue here and there. So it's something that we worked hard on during the week. And uh, like I said, hopefully uh, we can create as much pressure as we did last week and, and, and get those same amount of opportunities and then convert them on the weekend. Nathan? Uh, thank you, Zina. Um, good day, um, gentlemen. Um, Jock, uh, a few things were highlighted last week. I'll ultimately, cost the side example, discipline, points, conversion rate, intensity, and being effective at set pieces, just to name a few. Do you feel this side uh, you named will tick all those boxes? The reason why I'm asking this, I asked at the captain's press last week on some of the areas of these areas I mentioned, which you guys are sure would be fixed but wasn't. Nathan, uh, the areas you're talking about? Sorry, I missed it in the beginning. No, I'll, I'll go ahead again. The areas which I was talking about, discipline, points conversion rate, intensity, and being effective at set pieces. Um, yeah, yes, I think the, the, the main thing, or one of the things that uh, we, we spoke about uh, during the week is that is uh, the start, you know, uh, I think you guys mentioned it after the game in terms of we, we, we didn't start well. And I don't think we, as it, I don't think any team can, can try and get it. Uh, how can I say, can, can, uh, 
plan to get a good start in terms, of, but you can plan to get an intensity start. And I think that's the one thing that that was disappointing uh, on the weekend. We didn't have an intensity start, and 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 we spoke at length about that, and we we raised it with a with with a team. Uh, um, I thought we we had intensity after the first fifteen minutes, but we didn't have the same we we didn't have the same intensity at the beginning. Um, so yeah, in terms of 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 the discipline. Uh, I think we only conceded uh, nine penalties in this game. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know how many uh, penalties Australia conceded. I think they conceded between uh, 15, 16, somewhere there. So, I, and, and in the first two test matches, we only conceded seven each. So I think uh, the three uh, rugby championship test matches, we conceded uh, seven penalties, seven penalties and nine penalties. Uh, um, yes, it was unfortunate. Uh, we conceded a yellow card and, and that put us under pressure. Uh, but I think on, from a dis discipline point of view, uh, it's something we pride, something we work really hard at, uh, as to be as disciplined as possible, you know, because we know it's going to be rugby championship is going to be tightly contested games and discipline has to be good. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's something that we pride ourselves and I'm not saying we squeaky clean and we perfect and it's definitely something that we can keep on trying to improve. Um, then in terms... Um, uh, of the set pieces, uh, yeah, I think if you look at our, I thought we we created a lot of uh, pressure with our set pieces. Um, if, uh, if you if you think, I think uh, uh, we through our more we created a lot of uh, uh, penalties, and uh, through our scrum we created a lot of penalties. And again, it's the, you actually want to use that free play after a penalty to try and convert it over into points, which we haven't done. And uh, that's definitely something that we we will try and improve on in this week. Quibus? Um, thanks, Zina. Hello, Jacques. Uh, Jaden. Um, Jacques, just my question for you. Uh, a word on Kanan Moody making his debut at, uh, at the age of 19. What do you expect from him? No, yes, we're excited uh, to 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 get him in the mix. Uh, obviously, uh, I, th I think he had an awesome season in the URC, uh, and uh, he was definitely, uh, yeah, we we followed him closely, and uh, I think, yeah, we're excited to to see him and I, uh, to see him put his skill set uh, into a test match, and uh, yeah, we, he's he's really, I think he's been a month now with us. And uh, really um, happy to see his progress within the team, and and how comfortable he became in the team, and uh, and he's a very coachable guy. Uh, obviously, he's got the skills, uh, and yeah, very excited to see him. And and yeah, you you won't say um, when you work with him, you won't say he's a 19 year old. Uh, he's he's very mature for his age, and he's got a good rugby maturity and a rugby brain on him. Heinz. Hi, right, gents. Um, hope you're well. Um, Jock, you mentioned discipline um, and how you guys actually kept it pretty decently intact, you know, during the game. There's been a lot of talk about the Aussie gamesmanship. Um, so I just wanted to ask, you know, were you actually chuffed, regardless of what the what the merits of the FUF incident was, were you quite chuffed, you know, with how you guys, you know, dealt, you know, with the niggly tactics and that type of thing and how they managed to move on from those type of things? And Secondly, do you almost think, you know, given that that the guys have been exposed to that in a previous week, they might even be in a better position, you know, to play so quickly against them again to cope with that even better this time? In terms of, uh, in terms of, if you talk discipline and if if you if you talk about uh, tactics and stuff like that, uh, um, yes, from our point of view, I, I don't know how it works in other camps, but in in terms of discipline and 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 being uh, um, what we're trying to achieve, I mean, uh, world. If you think what the the the, the player welfare and uh, in world rugby currently, I mean, the tackle injury, height, head contact, concussions, uh, the, the, all those big uh, player welfare issues. Uh, the thing that we try, we try and do our part in terms of that. In terms of how we coach, we know we want to play a physical game, but but if you want to be physical, you have to be very accurate. And we're trying to coach that. We're not always perfect, you know, like I said. Uh, but like in terms of tackle entry, uh, we try and 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 coach uh, 
how can I put it, a level change at hip and knees, try and get a low tackle entry, try, try and stay away from the head and neck area as much as possible because it's a big thing. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's well documented these days, uh, um, the, the concussion and the, the, the whole player welfare issue. So from our point of view, uh, we, we try and, and coach within those parameters and play our part in player welfare. Uh, but how it how it's coached at other countries, I mean, uh, we we don't we don't know, and we that that's not something we can control. We can only control the things that we can control, and uh, yeah, and we will stay within that scope, uh, like like what we can control, if I can put it like that. Liam. Hi, good afternoon, guys. Uh, Jacques, it's on a similar theme to Heinz's question. Um, what do the Wallabies do differently? Uh, compared to teams maybe like the All Blacks or England or whatever, um, that brings about soft moments uh, for the Springboks and even moments where composure is, is a little bit lost uh, because they seem to do that very well against the Springboks in Australia. Have you been able to put your finger on, on what they do uh, to get you in those positions? Yes, I think um, it's. I think if you look at the game, that the past game, um, I think... Australia probably created less opportunities than we did. The, the key thing is they capitalized on the opportunities. They created pressure and the pressure led to opportunities and then they converted that opportunities into points, which is the thing we didn't do. And, and, and that's why they won the game. And, and that's off to them for, in terms of doing that. Uh, and that's the thing that we have to get better at. You know? So, uh, uh, yeah, I think that on the, on the, in this specific weekend, uh, they stopped us from using our opportunities. And uh, and they the, the 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 couple of chances they got uh, they they capitalize on. Um, Ross, how's it, guys? Um, Jacques, uh, obviously Quach has been absolutely immense off the bench this season, and um, you know uh, sort of what was your reasoning with uh, backing Franco there, not giving Quacha you know another chance to start? Firstly, and then uh, secondly, just one for Jade. And um, obviously, you haven't played alongside uh, Damien Willems so very much, but uh, how's the feeling been in training there? And uh, do you think you guys will link up well this weekend? Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, with uh, yeah, Peter steph has got a bit of an eagle. And uh, that's why he's not up for selection this weekend. And like in the week, uh, the, the past weekend, Franco Mostert started in there, you know, and uh, I thought he had a good game um, at seven, uh, obviously giving us a nice line out option there as well. So, yeah, for us, it was just a straight swap. Uh, um, uh, Franco Mostert in for, for Peter Steff. And yes, uh, Quacha can play there. And and, and Quacha was... Uh, was uh, very good when he came on and he brought a lot of energy and and obviously not just the fact that he scored two tries but i mean he was he brought a lot of energy into the squad and Quaha always do you know so yes I, um, I agree with you uh you probably could have started him uh but we think in terms of the the, the tactics that we want to employ this weekend uh probably franco mustard is a is a better fit for us starting and uh, and Quaha injecting that energy and uh, that he that he does off the bench. Tony. Uh, 